So this has got to feel great, man, back home. It does. It does feel great. I mean, this all feels familiar. Um, just coming back to where I started everything and where I had so many special times, special memories. To be able to be back home is, is really special for me. A lot of new faces. Who are you looking forward to most playing with besides Steve? I know Steve's going to be the biggest influence on you, but is there somebody else where you're like, wow, I'm glad this dude's on the team? Yeah, Nick. I mean, Nick and I have played together growing up. Um, been somewhat rivals for a long time, um, but to be on the same team, to both be LA kids and, and be able to play for the Lakers together is, is going to be a lot of fun. How about a little uh, UCLA-USC bet going maybe when the football yeah, game already, comes around? We already started that. We already started that. But I think we got the football <laughs> the, yeah. uh, on lock now, so let's let's hopefully uh, that, see, that the game, that series goes well on the UCLA side for sure. Swaggy B, Lakers Media Day, oh, man. Yeah. Now I got to ask you, you're a clothes connoisseur, man. You already yeah. got the first game outfit already set aside for when you walk <laughs> into Staples Center for the first First time, oh yeah, you know I got I, I kind of I got like two outfits I'm determined picking from right now. All right. <laughs> all right, so let's talk real quick about this bet. Farmer told me y'all might be betting on the USC UCLA yeah. football game. What, what's going down? Explain that a little bit. Oh, you know we're gonna be betting all year, really. USC UCLA basketball, yeah. football, but um, that's easy money for me right now. I think. Could you believe how big, how crazy the internet went when you just when you shaved your beard? I mean, everybody went nuts. You it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was a. Uh, I would have never done it if it wasn't for for a foundation, for a good cause, uh, for the healthy competition that we did this summer. So uh, yeah, it was it was fun. I had a, a lot of people talked about it. It feels just uh, like a relief to be able to start off uh, fresh, new, uh, with a new team, with a lot of faces, with guys just wanting to come in and then. And I work hard to do what they can to help this team, and uh, and I'm looking forward to be a part of it. All right, Lakers Media Day, one of the newbies. I'm just gonna call you newbies for now, man. So how does it feel to be in a purple and gold? Love it, man. Okay, yeah. this is some of the best colors to put on right now. I think the purple and gold. I've been wanting to put these on my whole life since I was younger, so definitely it's, it's a blessing, and it definitely gonna, I'm looking forward to it. We got a few OGs you're gonna play with, Kobe, yeah. Mr. Nash, Mr. Yeah. Gasol. Who are you looking forward to the most getting on the court? All of them. You can just because they were all different, bring different stuff to the table. So definitely gonna learn from Nash. Gonna be playing offense for forever. Definitely gonna learn a lot from Kobe. He's like we're in a similar, play the similar position. So I can definitely pick his brain and definitely learn from Pop. So I just, I'm definitely looking forward to learn from all of them. Uh, I'm gonna give up my heart to the purple and gold. But you know what? Um, you know this is a, I've looked at this like a job. You know this is my job, and so whoever my boss is, you know that's who I'm loyal to, and that's how it works. And um, you know, I've played this game long enough to understand the system. And, and it is a business, and you have to remember that. But also, you're in a business, you're meant to do a job. And so I'm going to do the best I can, and uh, then we'll go from there. Have the kids good? Everybody's good. Good. Good to hear me see you, brother. I will. So I was watching Backstage Lakers the other day, and it said you stayed in shape a lot by playing soccer. You had a couple of charity games and stuff like that. How much does that work into your off-season routine? You know, actually, it didn't work in a lot this summer. I only played twice for my charity right. events uh, because I was fighting through this injury. So. Uh, this summer I didn't, but usually when I'm healthy, I do play a lot of soccer. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, man. Good luck this season. Appreciate that. Power 106, Big Boys Neighborhood, big game, James Worthy. You sat and talked to every single player here on Time Warner. Who gave you off the best vibe for you, man? Who was the most confident, most swag? <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to say Kobe. Yeah. Because Kobe's always confident, he's always sure, and he's always absolute. But I think, you know, uh, Jordan Farmar coming back uh, to the Lakers, Nick Young, uh, and also Wesley Johnson. Those three guys in particularly are going to help the Lakers defense because uh, they're quick, they can keep people in front of them, and, and that'll take a lot of pressure off our interior defense. A healthy Powell, a healthy Jordan Hill, you know, we have to remember what we had. Jordan Hill was a, was a great intangible player. So I'm really excited about this team. I think the defense is going to be better, and I think the chemistry in the locker room uh, they seem to really like each other already, and that wasn't always, uh, you know, true last year. Hello, this is James Words, and I want to say hello to Big Boy. It's Big Game, James. <laughs>